Hey guys, Brantley here again with 30 Minute Fisherman. <clears throat> guys, just wanted to give another quick tip for you know this time of year right now, even though pretty soon here we're going to transition into the fall, but uh, summertime, this time of year, summertime, as far as bass fishing, <clears throat> especially. Guys, I mean, I know you're going to hear different things, okay, as far as times of days the time of day to fish well let me tell you something as far as on a consistent basis and and yes there there are things that come into play um but on a consistent basis as far as consistently day in day out and again this is from time on the water experience through the years of fishing this time of year you are going to catch far more fish very early in the mornings. And when I say very early in the mornings, I mean if you can get on the water right before sunrise, right when that sun's coming up, you know, definitely before the sun gets high in the sky, say, you know, by 11 o'clock in most, you know, most places, <clears throat> in most circumstances, you know, you want to be on the water before then. Okay, like I said, it really probably one of the best windows is that right before sunrise or right at sunrise because you've got low light you know you still have possibly some fish feeding from the night before depends on if you had a full moon the night before or it was real cloudy all these things come into play too then the next time in the summertime like this it is consistently one of the best times to fish is late in the afternoon and when I say late in the afternoon, I'm typically talking for that. Sometimes it's 4 o'clock and, and on till dark, okay? But a lot of times it's that 5 o'clock until the sun goes down. And, you know, again, it's, it's going to depend different places. I'm, I'm sure the sunset's going to be at different times. Um, you know, where I'm at here in the south in South Carolina... Right now, the sun's setting, you know, like sometimes 8, 9 o'clock at night. I mean, <clears throat> it's setting that late in the day. And again, sometimes right before that sunset, you know, right before dark, can be an awesome, awesome time. Again, talking low light conditions, it's not as hot, and that's when these fish tend to feed, okay? Now, again, like I said at, at the start of this thing, I'm just talking about consistent, you know, consistently on a day in, day out basis in the summertime. I know from experience, and you'll probably hear it from tons of other people. Some of you guys will be like, man, you sound like Captain Obvious. But maybe some people don't know this. I'm just giving you guys the facts. You know, the earlier you can get on the water, the better, or the later. So, you know, you can go fishing before work, you can go fishing after work, guys. Uh, for a lot of us, that's, that's what it boils down to. And some of us, that's the only times we got anyway, but it's the best time this time of year, I'm just telling you. Now, that being said, you can still catch fish surprisingly. Now, I'm going to give you another time of day that some people are going to be like, oh, that's, a, you know, that's no way, you're just saying that. Honestly, guys, you can catch them right in the middle of the day, okay? Because, I don't know, a lot of times, I, I guess I shouldn't personify fish but a lot of times I do you know I think about fish just like us okay you know we typically eat breakfast lunch dinner you know we're human beings but I think those fish too eat breakfast lunch and dinner I really do that's just how I look at it so that early morning bite that's them getting their lunch that's them getting their their little early morning meal or maybe that's the only meal they're gonna eat all day some of those bigger bass they're gonna eat something huge and then some of those fish are getting their supper, their dinner in the afternoon, you know. And then there's some of those fish that want to eat lunch. Some of them are going to eat breakfast and lunch. Some of them are going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some of them are going to eat lunch and dinner. It just all depends. But when you fish for these fish in the middle of the day, there are places where they're typically going to be. When you got this high heat and the sun's high in the sky, they're going to be in that thick vegetation, they're going to be in that thick cover, and watch your shade lines, find your shaded banks, fish in the shade, 
throw up underneath docks, throw up underneath trees. Or like I said, you can typically find a shade line. You can look and see where is the shade casting on the water. And I can pretty much guarantee you, you're going to get more bites in that shady section of where you're fishing and you're going to get where that bright sunshine is, okay? That's just the way it is, guys. That's just the way it is. And then also, too, there is the deep bite on ledges and things like this. But for whatever reason, there, there are fish every day. And, and I know this from experience. I had to learn it. So I'm trying to help you guys get rid of a learning curve. You know, and I'm just telling you, there are fish every single day that eat between 12 and 2 o'clock. 12, 2 o'clock, 12, 2 o'clock, day in and day out. I mean, I, I've had numerous days where I caught fish 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And I mean, caught some big ones and caught lots of them. Now, again, I'm not going to tell you I can go out and do that every single day. It works every single time. No, that would be that would totally be misleading. But what I'm saying is you would be surprised at the times you can get out on the water at lunchtime and really catch some good fish. But again, you have to fish the right areas. Again, that heavy cover, the shaded banks, <clears throat> you know, possibly a deep ledge or something, okay? But guys, just wanted to give you that little quick tip because, you know, this summertime fishing can be tough. It can be rough, you know. But if you do the right things, fish the right time of day and all this stuff, it can be awesome. So guys, hit that thumbs up down at the bottom. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Got the two giveaways this month. And then for the next six months, once a month, uh, giveaways for, <coughs> for subscribers. Again, got a big box of lures. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. Got this huge box of lures in my garage with whopper ploppers in there, live target sunfishes. Uh... Bagley crankbaits, uh, Strike King lures, just a gamut of stuff. It's literally a box, and I put a whole bunch of stuff in while I was trying to clean up my garage. And, you know, like I said, there's whopper ploppers in there. There's, there's all kind of stuff, guys. It's, it's a gamut of stuff. But uh, once a month, I'm going to reach in there. Whatever I grab out, I'm going to send it to a subscriber. So everybody likes free stuff. Well, guys, I hope you... Enjoy these tips down in the comments. If there's anything you guys ever want to hear me talk about or, uh, again, want my opinions on whatever or uh, how to fish a certain technique, uh, you know, let me know, guys. And I, I, That's why I'm here. That's why I do this. I, I like giving you guys the information. I enjoy doing this. Um, I'm all about fishing. I love fishing. I love introducing people to fishing. And, guys, like I said, remember, we got this great out here. We got these great outdoors here that the Lord has given us to enjoy. Get out and enjoy it. Go fishing today, guys. If you didn't fish early this morning, go late this afternoon. You just might catch that personal best. I'm just saying. Or you might just have a good time. So, guys, get out here. Fish, fish hard. You know, enjoy this great outdoors that the Lord has given us. God bless you all, and I'm out.